Hello, I'm Russ, and welcome to this video where we'll hopefully enlighten you about Algorand Standard Assets, or ASAs. As you can see here, an account has assets as well as applications. Today, we are going to focus on assets. An asset, in general, is an item of value that can be exchanged, used as a form of payment, or held as an investment. In the context of Algorand, an asset is a digital representation of an item of value that can be transferred and stored on the Algorand blockchain. ASAs are an on-chain digital asset built right into the Algorand blockchain. ASAs are designed directly on layer one to represent real world assets such as artwork, agriculture commodities, or real estate. It's never been easier to provide joint ownership of a hotel, for example, as assets can be easily fractionalized. This allows users to easily trade and transfer these assets using the decentralized and secure functions of Algorand globally and efficiently. ASAs are an important part of our grand ecosystem as they enable the creation of new financial products and services on the blockchain known as DeFi or decentralized finance. Until now, we had to go to a bank to do this. Non-fungible tokens or NFTs are assets that are unique on the blockchain, meaning only one can exist. Digital art and collectibles are types of NFTs. Other blockchains implement NFTs as a standardized smart contract. But in Algorand, it's a layer one feature. Thus, no smart contracts are required to create ASAs. However, they can be associated with a smart contract. For example, one can indeed use a smart contract to programmatically create ASAs. NFTs can be used for supply chain changes or checkpoints, real estate, identity, copyrights, and restricted non-fungible tokens with clawback capabilities can be used for ownership, registries, or regulatory certifications. Fungible tokens, or FTs for short, are a type of asset split into multiple units that are fundamentally the same and interchangeable one-to-one -one with each other. For example, stable coins like USDC are fungible tokens as they each have the same value. A stable coin is a cryptocurrency that is pegged to a stable asset, such as the US dollar, in order to reduce the volatility of the price. Stable coins are designed to maintain a stable value over time, making them attractive for use in payments and investments. Other examples of fungible tokens include in-game points, loyalty points, and system credits. Restricted fungible tokens with clawback capabilities can be used by securities or government-issued fiat, for example. Creating an FT or FT in Algorand is very simple and can be done using an ASA. The type of token you are creating will be determined by how you configure the ASA. Layer 1 ASAs are low cost to execute due to Algorand's minimal transaction fees. They provide easy and simple asset issuance and management for developers and enterprises. There is a universal interoperability of all assets issued on the Algorand blockchain. Lastly, it can be created within seconds. An asset on Algorand is created by a transaction that is signed by the creator of the asset. The transaction must contain information about the asset. Immutable properties include asset name. The asset name is the name of the asset. Max size is 32 bytes, example tether. The unit name is the name of the unit of the asset. Max size is 8 bytes, example USDT. Decimal is the number of digits to use after the decimal point when displaying the asset. If zero, the asset is not divisible. If one, the base unit of the asset is in tenths. If two, the base unit of the asset is in hundredths, and so on. A URL specifies a URL where more information about the asset can be retrieved. Default frozen is true to freeze holdings for this asset by default. The total supply is the total number of base units of the asset to create. This number cannot be changed. The metadata field is intended to be a 32-bit hash of some metadata that is relevant to your asset and or asset holders. An example might be a hash of some certificate that acknowledges the digitized asset is the official representation of a particular real-world asset. The creator address is the address that signs the transaction to create the asset. There are four mutable properties that correspond to addresses that can authorize specific functionality for an asset. These addresses must be specified on creation, but they can also be modified after creation. Alternatively, these addresses can be set as empty strings, which will irrevocably lock the function 
that they would have had authority over. These properties include manager, reserve, freeze, and clawback addresses. These addresses can be normal Algorand accounts or smart contracts allowing the ASA to be controlled with decentralized logic. The manager address is the primary account that manages all other mutable addresses. The manager address can change or lock any of the mutable addresses. Locking any of the addresses effectively turns off the capability for the life of the ASA. The reserve address can be used as a store for non-minted token. A freeze address can be used to freeze or unfreeze an ASA for a specific account. Accounts that have been frozen are not allowed to send or receive the frozen ASA. The clawback address can be used to revoke an ASA from a specific account. The revoked ASA can, as part of the clawback function, be sent to any other account that has opted into the ASA. Finally, the create transaction returns an asset ID, which is unique. Once the asset is created, we have issuance and can be traded and transferred on the Algorand blockchain. It's very easy to create your own ASAs visually. Let's take a look at algodesk.io. Create an asset. We're going to do the following. We're going to hit this create asset button. Let's give this a name, Rustcoin. Give it a unit name. Give it a supply. Let's do 10,000 of these. We'll use a decimal point of one. And then you have the ability to put in a URL and then asset management. Right now, all of these are going to be set to the creator account. So let's go ahead and create this. And there it is. We can go ahead and view this transaction. And there you see the block it was done in. And then also you see down below the unique asset number right there, along with the asset name, the unit name, and total supply, as well as all the addresses for the management accounts. So in summary, ASAs are so awesome. Algorand has several SDKs and ecosystem tools that can be used to create assets for your application, as we will show in the next video. ASAs are perfect for many use cases on the blockchain, including copyrights, in-game points, stablecoins, and collectibles. ASAs are also easy to create, flexible to use, and have low transaction fees. ASAs are built right into Layer 1. However, the flexibility is there for smart contracts to use ASAs as well. There's a link down here for resources, including a link to the deck. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this video.